should not be blanking on someone's name like this. He's sitting in the same room as me. He's literally played before. It's Eli and Mr. L. Jeez, I don't know why I can remember that. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, another snake. Although, Eli's snake. I don't know, something about it. I just feel confident in it. It's probably because I've seen more of it. I know this guy is good at the game. But Mr. L showed us exactly how good he is at the game, too. With that never ending offense. But Eli, known for his patience, especially on Snake. Not letting it happen. Great up smash from Eli. Wow, the timing of that grenade. He knew exactly when it was going to detonate. Or exactly when to throw it so it would land on him. Now, this is where it gets interesting because Snake's a heavy character and Pikachu is a very light character. So Snake's kill moves will kill earlier, whereas Pikachu's will kill later. And... Eli definitely is abusing that because he's at 127 and he does not seem to care at all. Here's the Nikita. Oh my god, the Nikita completely straight. It didn't turn off. But F Tilt doesn't kill. Almost went coast to coast with F Tilt. Text the stage though. He knew the C4 was there, he saw it. So he's telling him, no way, Jose, you're not doing it. Down tilt kills, though. All right. How much extra credit can we get? None. All right, 0-0, zero, zero, both on second stock. Let's see. Still staying aggressive with those aerials and fast moving on Pikachu, but... Eli, really? Eli... Or not Eli, it's more like Snake. Snake has the weight and body to just take that kind of punishment and keep soldiering on. There's the Cypher. F tilt. Very good down tilt from uh, Mr. L. Ooh, there's that down there that he likes to go for off stage. He really wanted to kill Eli with that. He pulled up the grenade at the last second, so when he got hit, he traded. Dang. But yeah, see, we see Eli here at 150, and he doesn't really seem like he cares all that much. I mean, yeah, most of Pikachu's kill moves will probably kill here. But he really doesn't have to worry about that too much. He's playing Snake after all. Down throw. F tilt. Just to make sure he gets the kill. That's fair. You can DI up tilt because there's so much distance between the bottom of the stick or on stage and blast zone at the top. So that's fair. You're already at ledge too. Just makes perfect sense. Very good back air. Wow, you waited. But yeah, now we're seeing Mr. L is at 80 on his last stock, and Eli's still alive at 162. He seems to be just A-OK, -okay, just staying in the middle of the stage, working those grenades the way he needs to. Very good choice to down tilt, but he's playing it safe by not committing too hard on going in. Because all he needs is something like that, and he dies. But 80% to zero on Eli. Eli's sitting in a pretty good position right now, but this game is not over yet. Eli, Mr. L's offense is insane, and all he needs is a few decent hits, and he just can carry you coast to coast and kill you. But the grab missed, and he got up tilted. Dang. Great games.
Adjustments are we going to see from uh, Mr. L here? Because the snake matchup is drastically different from any other matchup in the game. So you really have to think a lot harder when you're playing against the snake. We're seeing a lot of Eli just controlling ledge, using the grenades and all of his explosives to set up. It's he's setting up Oki on ledge. It's it's very very interesting and cool to see. That downer didn't spike though, and that makes me feel bad. So I can only imagine how Mr. L's feeling in that moment. That hit. You can hear that. You uh, I don't know if you guys uh, watching could hear it, but. We could hear the sound of Eli getting hit by the uh, Thunderbolt, and he just kept ciphering through it. And uh, the up tilt killed Mr. L before, so now we're at 116 on Snake, and Mr. L is on second stop. If he can get this kill without taking damage, never mind. If he can get this kill without taking too much damage, then he'll be a okay. A lot of really good bomb throw. Throwing the bomb down so it bounces up is also really interesting. See Nair loops? Not quite. Not many loops, but we got one. The shield poke with forward air. Ooh, he was too... Snake's uh, crouch was too low for Pikachu to scoop him up with the back air. Didn't quite work. Very, very good Fox try from Mr. L. Amazing tech from Eli, though. He knew he was going to go for that down air. He's been going for it all night. Ooh, throwing that grenade off stage. Oh, down air traded with the second hit of back air from her, uh, Pikachu. He wanted to say Kirby. I have no idea why. There's Nikita. Doesn't quite land again. Both in the both characters plus 100, but Eli dies first to Pikachu dash attack. Pikachu living on a prayer. Mr. L making staying alive. There's the cipher. Mr. L is just so good at sneaking in to find those that like down tilt that starts a combo that I didn't even know he had. All right, 64 on Eli, last stock, both of them. Mr. L's at zero. Let's see. That explosion really killed a lot of his momentum. Jab lock. There you go, he got hit by it again, but the Cypher wasn't destroyed, so he still got to act. That's the second time that that's happened in this matchup. Does dash attack kill? Not quite. 153 on Eli. So what's the plan? Up till it hits. He's at 165. Almost a 90% on Pikachu. Ooh, get up attack is a great choice. The grab didn't land though. Dash attack didn't, or down air didn't land either. First hit of down air did. Back throw doesn't kill. Up throw kills, yep. Using Pikachu's speed to just get in there, grab, up throw. Very, very quick movement, very, very quick kill. He knew he was at the percent to do it, so he just needed to find a way to get out there, get to doing it, and he did it. We're on to game three. Stop the battle. Snake. Oh, Pikachu. Okay. We're back in it. We're going to see the adjustments one more time. We get to see how they do it. And the, the 
with back airs. Good 31% on Eli from this row. Dash attack lands. Still haven't gotten a clean hit on Nevermind. Commentator's curse. That spike kills. Yup. That was the down air that Mr. was waiting for all of last game. It seems like it seems like Mr. L knows, knows what he needs to do right now. He's just taking a very commanding lead. Using a lot more Thunder Jolt this in this game than the last one. Before he used Thunder Jolt every like, you know, just when he wanted to really get in or control Snake's movement for a moment, but right now we're seeing a lot more Thunder Jolt and it seems to be a lot more effective. Second stock for Mr. L, Eli's at 85, 92 actually. Well, basically a hundred. And still zero percent on second stock for Mr. L. Using those using the really good projectile known as Thunder Jolt to get everything he wants done. Very good throw. Spiked again. Jeez, it is not looking good for Eli. He is just not able to find his footing and get, get what he needs. Very good down air from Eli to try to stop that combo, but it didn't quite work. There goes Thunder Jolt again. The Thunder Jolts are just so huge. Down air out of shield. We've seen that one before. There's the Thunder Jolt playing patient, waiting for the up to come out. Ooh, he was just barely not at the right spot for that up tilt to kill him on end lag. And wasn't close enough for the jab either. Just barely misspacing these things. Out of, down or out of shield. It's Snake's equivalent of up the end of shield for a lot of people. A lot of characters in this game. But we read the roll, but Spot Dodge came out first. That was a very scary moment, scary moment for Eli at 134 on ledge. He has to work so hard just to try to get it away from Pikachu. And it might not even work. F tilt lands. Rocket launcher, not quite. You can tell he's thinking about trying to get the kill. He's got to get something out here. He's only he's at 143, and a Pikachu up throw will kill here. You see that? There's the grab. He already he knows too. He is fishing for these throws. When did Pikachu become a grappler, bro? What? Pikachu at 100, 100 though. Could very easily die to some of the same uh, to few moves, just as how he can kill with up throw. But up smash takes it. I I was wondering if it was gonna be Pikachu getting a kill with something like up smash, or it was gonna be Snake finding a uh, cheek.